welcome back to my channel. Ellery here. I got the I got the Rugrats with me. It's been a couple days since my last my last post because I've been busy, but I got the Rugrats. Calm down. I love it. I'm Say hi, honey bunny. Yes. That's my sister here. We know, girl. Y'all too ghetto. I'm going downstairs. Stop, Callie. I saw you. Stop. Don't antagonize her, Zara. See, I gotta get, I gotta get away from the ghetto. We are decorating for the neon party. No, the ghetto's not allowed down here. This is classy, Classville. See, we're already halfway down. We got the uh, the lights up. I knew we should have listened to mom and take him down. We're getting all the stuff out so we see what we have to work with. It's chilly down here. Oh, Don't touch nothing. I'm not touching nothing. I'm just gonna see it. Look at all the bright colors. Bubble wrapping, please. All right, we got some Bubble shot wrapping. glasses, some silverware. There's more napkins in this. Some glasses, plates. Mom's birthday. We're gonna have chicken and rice and. Probably something cold, I just don't know what yet. Maybe like pasta salad or something. And then I got two strips of black lights because we have black lights, but I figured we can put this either around the DJ booth or on the flip cut table, even though that flip cut table might be a hot mess outside where all the pollination is. Banner, tablecloth, streamer. I got these plates because there's Santa only, Santa? They, they come with glow sticks. And then some more cups, some more glow sticks, some more tablecloths, glow their banners. I think they say happy birthday or something. We're gonna hang on the sides of the door. Some more LED lights. This could probably go around the, I don't know. I don't know where none of this is going to be honest. That's why we're here. All right, let me go see how we're gonna hang all this stuff. Ooh, we never even used. Oh, these were for the uh, earphones, and they glow. Everybody's so creative. Let's get started. We are done, almost, probably. I don't know, but so this is this is like a sign over here, and like these are like some like like um whatever those are called, and we got some like streamers over here next to that. Um, we got like a game over here and some like streamers coming down. I don't know what those are called. And um, we got these paper things around here and everybody's in here. Yes, but we, um, we finally um, finished this time. If you guys can make that, I don't know. Anyways, these are my parents doing the work too and that's Lottie the M-O-G. That's my sister. And the happy birthday sign up there, as you guys can see. And Lottie's birthday. The DJ booth's gonna be over there. Ev did all this over here. Actually she did, her and him did pretty much all of it. I spent majority of my time renovating that beer pong table that was outside of Paulin and half broke. I had to renovate it. But um, this is the picture wall. This is gonna be where the food is, I think. And we're gonna have drinks over here. Probably put some glow sticks in the drink thing. We got flip cup and beer pong is gonna be over here. There's gonna be some cups, obviously, in the little holes. And it's gonna be a grandiose time. I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for your help, as always. You too, you too, Callie. My W four is in the mail. W four. W. Your invoice, me? Because you don't have enough. <laughs> You're not getting paid enough for a W four. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was so busy doing that today, and Yoshi had guitar practice. I didn't get to finish her video in time to post on Thursday. So it's gonna go up on a Friday. I'm sure you guys already noticed that by now if you watch her channel. Then I thought we were gonna have leftovers from when we went to Davio's after Legoland, but come to find out she ate majority of her steak. So I had to give her my leftovers and combine it with hers and I'm gonna have what? You'll never guess it, a salad. 
So I'm going to eat my food, chill a little bit. I feel like I haven't sat down all day long and I have another long day tomorrow because tomorrow is Friday and all the errands I was supposed to run today, I didn't get to run, so I'm gonna do that tomorrow. So let's take her to school. But it's the weekend! And my birthday, my birthday, my birthday weekend. It, it, it's not my birthday weekend, actually my birthday's next Friday, but it's my birthday party weekend, so it's the same thing, because it's still my birthday, because it's Aries season, so wish me happy birthday, thank you, bye-bye, Good night. Good afternoon, it has been a long morning. I got one nail on, don't mind that. I have been to the dry cleaners, to Target, to Kroger, to the smoke shop for some hookah stuff, to the beauty supply store. Like I've been all over all morning. I still have to do my nails and I have to get them done in like two hours, which would be record breaking if I could do that because we're supposed to go take the kids to see a movie outside and then I have to pick up my best friend like right after that from the airport. So it's a long day, but you know what? It's Friday, my birthday party's tomorrow. I'm really excited about it. So I'm gonna have me a drink when I get home when I finish my nails so I can get like, you know, in the Friday spirit. Plus the movie's like in the lawn, so we're gonna bring like a cooler and some snacks and stuff for the kids. Oh, I'm ashy, let me put this elbow down. <laughs> nothing to see here, no naps, no ash, nothing. You guys were all just little blurry eyed. Anyways, um, yeah, I was in a good mood. Then I'm in the car, carpool line, you know, obviously picking up Yosh and I'm reading my emails from like my my regular email not my work email and I see something about her school being on lockdown today for a false alarm and I immediately like got in my like I, I, I literally cry at the drop of a dime when anything like is sad so that's why I don't really like talk about it much or post about it because it immediately like makes me react to it so when I seen that I was like Never in a million years did I think, would I think or have, would have thought that school wasn't safe. Like, school? Elementary school at that? Well, this is junior high, but still, it's school. These are kids. Like, why wouldn't this be a safe space? But it just is proving not to be these days. And it's literally stressful to think about, you know. Um, I'm just going to, you know, talk to her, see what happened, and make sure she's okay. Anyways, I'm not going to get emotional because it's Friday. It's my birthday. I'm trying to stay as positive as possible because it's very hard to do in today's world. We live in scary times, and it, I have to literally have talks with myself to stay positive and, you know, count my blessings. They even have the flags, half staff. Half staff, is that what it's called when something happens? I have to have talks with myself to be happy because it's just, you know, the world is crazy. What's up, baby mama? Baby mama? Girl, what is wrong with you? Don't you ever. Nobody calls me baby mama, not even your daddy. Dress me as such. Hello, Queen Ellery. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. How was school? Good. What happened at school today? Let me tell you about my booty flipping, eating, third period teacher. Remember the lady, I was telling you about the lady who, the Jamaican lady? The Jamaican lady, yes you do. Okay. The one who has, uh, who had, you, yes you do. Girl, how you gonna tell me what I remember? The Jamaican lady, my teacher. Uh, kind of, oh yeah, 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 cause you were saying she's kind of hard on you. Yeah, she's hard on everybody. Hard on she's everybody. Really mean and what you doing what you doing now you're doing your work zara zara do your work is that how she talks to you yep. <laughs> anyway so basically we had done a a, G, a dsc which is like just a little testing program and when i was done i was uh doing my my uh, my mouth i excel so i take ups and then she had called me to the table and show pulled up the DSC we had done like a week ago and said mine matched one of the girls in my class word what's she trying to say what's she, she, she trying to say what's she trying to say and then she called the girl here and our names were right on top of each other in the alphabet her name is Imani and mine's are so she was reading the same paper and trying to no, she wasn't so it was different papers but our names are right on top of each other it was word for word but we I did cheat and uh she said that she didn't cheat either and then when we were leaving class, she had started to call you. Oh. She had started to write me up. Oh. And then when we were leaving class to go to connections, she said, I saw it, it was a system and that it was a system error. And I had said, the system might be messed up. And she was like, no, the system doesn't mess up. And did she apologize? Yes. She better had, cause no, she ain't accusing my child of being a cheater. Cause we, uh -huh. 
<laughs> Maybe your mama, but you, you're an outstanding student. You don't need to cheat. You ain't never cheated before in your life. Okay? okay. So, as long as she apologized, that's the only reason why I ain't got to write no email or go up there because I will mama clock for talking to my daughter in any way other than respectful. Sorry, it's Friday. I'm feeling good. <laughs> but PE was actually fun because we got to play volleyball because we don't really work out like that on Fridays. You could either walk on the track, play basketball, or play volleyball. Is there a volleyball club or something? You, it's a sport, but you have to. You can't do it till you get seventh grade. Okay, well, why don't you do it as a period and then kind of good at volleyball and then decide if you want to join a volleyball. Maybe as a period. Like you said, you can't do it it's until seventh grade, like a sport. Uh huh. You mean you have to try out for it? Yeah, probably. We'll go for it. You know what? Go for it. I was kind of good at it. Like it's always good to just try something, whether I think it's gonna be something you like or not. Just try it, figure it out for yourself, and then if you feel like it's not for you. It's not the end of the world. It's just like the people are kind of aggressive. Like, you feel like it's an aggressive game. Yeah. Anyways, I heard there was a lockdown. I haven't heard you talk about that. Red code, code red. Yeah. What it happened? Wasn't that big of a deal? It wasn't. You weren't scared. It's a drill. They said it was a false alarm. They didn't say it was a drill. They said it was a false alarm. Yeah. Not. Not. Well, not. as long as you weren't scared, it's always best to try to remain. I thought it was a drill. As calm as possible because. Kids screaming and frantic makes it worse. So try to be observant and pay attention to your surroundings and do whatever your teacher says in those situations, whether it's a drill or not. We don't even do anything with code red drills. All it doesn't, Zara, you I'll never try, know when cold red can be serious. So you always take it serious. I know. Always. Like, all they do is like cover up the window and lock the door and turn off the lights and just keep doing your work. Okay. Just, all I'm saying is be careful and take it serious. I, I was doing anything today. Can you take me to three movies? Oh no, she's yeah, not. She today. just dismisses everything that I said. We're done with that part of the conversation. Uh, you, you're done. I wasn't done. You're done. You're, you're done. Recording. I lied. You're, you're already like kind of putting a little damper on my Friday. So let's kind of reel it back in with your sarcasm right now. Oui. All right. Okay. I'm doing my nails right now, so I don't even want you to bother me until I'm done. I got you some lunch, therefore, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone until I address you. I want to go online track. And you need to put something on your face. What? What does that mean? Meaning you have bumps all over your face. What so you, you need to, to take that makeup off, wash your face. Now? Yes. It's getting aggressive. I don't know why I have to convince somebody to, like, take care of their skin. Like, she doesn't realize that kids who get acne can have that for the rest of their lives and have acne scars if they don't treat it. What's I had scar? acne scars that don't go away. You have them for the rest of your life. What does it look like? Keyword is scar. Like, I'm confused why you have to know what a scar looks like. It's a scar. And when I was in junior high school, about to start, well, I don't know if I started puberty or was about to start puberty, I had hella acne on my forehead like it came so aggressively that by the time i was trying to fix it it wouldn't get fixed do you have scars can i finish my story please jesus don't bring the lord into this stop bringing saying his name in vain it's not funny i'm not laughing anyways i had it really really bad i was very insecure about it i started wearing visors like who the freak wears a visor and then would you please be quiet oh my goodness then i got in trouble for something i'm not gonna say in front of you i'll tell y'all later i got in trouble and i got grounded for a month actually my mom sent me to my aunt's house for a month that was in a different state in indiana i was so sad about it even though i ended up having a blast but my auntie ross had bought me some this mary Kay. it's called clear skin i think anyways it was a whole acne treatment i had to do like 17 different steps and thank god it worked by the time i went back home but it didn't even have to get that far i never washed my face and that's why i got like that i, I used to wear the alia swoop with all the gel and grease so it made my forehead break out real bad you have edge control all over your your face and you don't barely even use any soap and water to wash your face okay. and you want to get to the point where you have a whole full face of bumps where you start crying every day because you already cry when you get a pimple yet you want all these bumps to just go around your face and get crazy because you don't want to clean your face like make it make sense can you tell me why you got grounded 
I'll just wash You're still video. worried about the wrong things. Okay, I gotta go. I clearly need a drink because um, my level of irritation now that a child is around me is? is rising. Well, I, need to I gotta do go. You, you do the most. You know, we are finally getting out the house. I feel so bad. It's 8.20. The movie started at 7. I had My nails took forever and I had to get them done because I have a whole party tomorrow. We'll probably only be there for like 30 minutes. And we still get to see my nieces. All right, we were at the thing for like two seconds. I didn't even record it now that I realized. It's crazy. Now that I'm I realized. Sir, what are you? Crazy. What? I'm an influencer. What are you? Anyways, we were there for. We actually were there for longer than I thought we were going to be there. We were there for like a good hour. Enough for her to order the whole menu. I only got three things. She ordered a whole bucket of donuts, a whole bucket of no, it was french fries, a whole bucket of chips, I know and a gonna... bucket of spinach artichoke dip. I didn't know they were going to give her so much. I, I fell asleep. And let me tell you how much money she had. Don't interrupt me. Donut hole. She had nothing. And then I remembered I went to the bank earlier today. And they put my ID and my debit card in the envelope, which I have in my, in Cruella. She's in Cruella. I had to put $15 on a credit card. Anyways, we're at the airport now. Thought we were on the way home. You thought wrong. wrong. Exactly. Picking up Brewery. Unfortunately, she flew Southwest. I say unfortunately because... Her plane landed at 9.30, it is now 10.10, and she's still nowhere to be found. Not to say anything about Southwest, but I'm a Delta girl. This isn't Delta. Not Delta, but Delta. That's a wing, you mean that's the an airplane wing. What? You mean drug? Drug. Delta 8? I don't even wanna ask how you know that. I saw it on your little package. Anyways, we're at the airport. I'm gonna pick her up. She's probably gonna be hungry. So I'm gonna have to stop somewhere to get her something to eat. And then we're gonna go home because by the time she gets in the car, it's gonna be like 10 30. By the time we get to the restaurant, it's gonna be like 10 45. By the time we eat, it's gonna be like 11 30. By then, I'm gonna be sleepy. And it's gonna be a long day tomorrow because I have my what? Party. You're finally getting the fill in the blanks right. That's my party. Easy. Well, they're not clearly always easy. Sometimes you get them wrong, but yes, tomorrow's my party. Oh my god. What? I never ordered the food. <sighs> I'm only one woman. Whoever sung I'm every woman was a liar. I'm only one woman. It ain't all in me. Sometimes I forget about a baby. It don't come naturally. Oh, it's gonna take that long. Girl, I have to order a hundred wings. I thought you were gonna make it like you always I can't make it. I don't have time. Do you not know? Listen, I gotta go. Cause I can't have you stress me out in front of company every time. I'm so sleepy. That restaurant was like, we had a good time. It was chaotic. I've never had to wait outside, but we still had a good time. Ate good, have leftovers. Tomorrow, I have to wake up early because I didn't order the food. So I'm gonna get some shut eye and hopefully tomorrow I'll be rejuvenated. Fingers crossed. Good night. Good morning, y'all. It's my birthday. Nobody has woken up to make me breakfast, um, offered me a mimosa, champagne, Breakfast. Did I say breakfast? Um, it's just real ghetto in here. Hey, how you doing? It's my birthday. Actually, it's not. Actually, it is. Last time I checked, my birthday is April 1st right now. So, you have something you want to say to me? Happy birthday or not your birthday. You're so ghetto. See the disrespect I get on my birthday? Like, it's April 1st. Today is not... Today is April 1st. I should get her on. What should I say? I don't want to say nothing that's going to get her excited. Because I'll feel bad. I want to do something that's going to make her sad. Because that's fun. Did I tell you I canceled the party? What? You just don't want to dirty my house. Then why'd you set up the party? 
Are you going to clean it up for me? Because it's my birthday. Well, clearly yesterday. It ain't my fault. You just decided you don't want to have a party. So you're not going to clean it up for me on my birthday? You're testing me. How am I testing you? Well, I need you to clean it up because I'm not having a party anymore. What? I hate it here. I can't even lie in peace. Like, whose children, whose child doesn't believe them when they tell a lie? It's annoying. I want a, I want a normal life. With normal kids that believe their mothers. I can wake up my other friend. Not sleeping music. How old are you, Grandma? I literally like just fell asleep. Just fell asleep? That's because you got that sleeping music box right next to your eardrum. Oh my gosh. Wake up, it's my birthday. You have something you want to say to me? It's not your birthday. You have something you want to say? Shut the door! <laughs> you have something you want to say to me first? Then I'll shut it. Still waiting. I'm pretty alert so I can stand here for a while. Never coming again. Do not trust you anymore. Trust me? What do you need to trust me for? All I need you to do is, you know, say the magic words. Get out or I'm gonna flash you. Oh, happy birthday to me. Oh happy birthday. Thank you! You shouldn't have! That is so crazy. You're so sweet. I appreciate that. Are you hungry? I'm tired. All right, good night. I don't even know what time it is because the power went out. It's 9.42. I woke up to use the bathroom and then I couldn't go back to sleep. Why, you ask? Because it's my birthday. Who sleeps on their birthday? Um, and those of you thinking, wow, girl, you're one of those who celebrates their birthday not on their birthday? I am. I'm not ashamed and I don't care what you think about me because it's my birthday. I'm not, not only celebrating my birthday, I'm celebrating life. You should celebrate life every day. I bet you're looking at it differently now, huh? I'm not just celebrating my birthday, I'm celebrating life. Happy life day. About to make some breakfast, some bacon, a little avocado, a little tomato. Oh, I didn't get any sourdough bread. Should I go to the store? Am I feeling that energetic? My house is pretty boring. I'm filled with boring, sleepy people, so I might as well, huh? I'll be back. All right, we have to make a quick Publix run. Don't look at my face, it's peeling. Mean girl. Oh, hush, you're mean, making me do, you errands on my birthday party. Like, she wants to go to Foot Locker. She wants to go to the store. She wants to do this. I'm like, girl, this is my birthday party. I'm not making all these errands. Like, choose another day. Peace out. Have it. Girl, you don't even know how to drive. Hey, guys. Birthday girl here. <laughs> we got our neon. Come here, Ip. We tried the uh, the hot glue makeup. It's, it's my first hard. time, and I'm looking very extraterrestrial. Really? Even though they Everybody keep calling me an Oompa fun. Loompa, I feel like I'm giving um, alien girl. Alien. Tajere looks like a, a sex no, doll. The Riddler. She looks like a robot <laughs> sex doll. Then we have our other girl group member. I'm Sporty Spice. Our glasses light up, but you know, we're saving the battery for when the world party begins. Cause right now this is the pre-party. You know, we're just getting ready, but this is my girl. Got our pants. We're, we're glowing, baby. I have to put my shoes on. I'm looking real ghetto without my shoes. We're about to take a birthday shot. You want some wine? Yes, I can. All it is is the TV, but I can definitely turn it off. Let's go. Yeah. All right, you guys ready to take this shot? Right. This is Andrew, awesome. you ready? You ready, Andrew? Ready. You guys ready? Yes, it's in high vibration. Whose birthday is it, guys? All right. It's Alan's birthday. <laughs> Shots. All right. Cheers. Happy birthday. Cheers. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. I got right here. Everybody in right here. I need everybody in the dance floor, please. Everybody outside. Somebody know that tobacco in their lungs. Please come inside. Get some fresh air. Everybody got their clothes for y'all. Their clothes for y'all. It's shot o'clock. <laughs> Y'all ready? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Neon Nights with L. Happy birthday! Today is Monday. I had this around my neck because I was bleaching the knots on my wig and I couldn't breathe. Um, now I'm about to finally start packing because tomorrow is literally my last day to do everything and I have hella errands to run. Wax, petty, cleaners that I dropped off somewhere. Make sure she's good. A lot to do. So hopefully I can finish packing tonight. That would be the goal. And then whatever I forget, I can just pop in there tomorrow. All right, so this is my process when I pack, especially out the country, because out the country, I usually need like double options for every option, if that makes sense. So let me show you. These are just like throw on dresses that you always kind of need at any given time. So I call these my morning outfits, because just in case like you want to go down to breakfast, you're not getting room service, but you don't want to put on a swimsuit to breakfast. Like you just want to go eat, go back to the room. These are morning dresses. Everything under here is a morning dress, morning dress morning dress and then on top these are the pajamas nighttime pajamas even though i rarely rarely get in my pajamas because i'll be tipsy and i don't be feeling like getting dressed so i just shower and get in the bed but i'm gonna try to you know be grown and put on some night time wear so i got all these little tiny nighttime outfits from sheen and i haven't worn any of them so we'll see how that works then we need swimsuit cover-up options so this swimsuit cover-up swimsuit cover-up swimsuit cover-up swimsuit cover-up swimsuit cover-up and then a pile of extra swimsuits and then you need nighttime outfits which is usually just shorts on top so nighttime possible nighttime possible nighttime possible nighttime possible and I'm gonna bring an extra pair of shorts and an extra, I mean not extra pair, extra shorts and extra jeans just in case for whatever reason I don't wanna wear shorts. Then we have flip flop options. These actually just broke the last time I wore them. Again, that's like the second time they broke. I've had these for like seven years. And I really like them because they're just, you can wear it with anything because this little bird has just a bunch of rhinestones in it. And even though this bird has fell off this shoe several times, the rhinestones have not. So if I remember where I put the bird, I'm actually going to try to re-glue that. <laughs> and then we got the other set of options. And then I'm only bringing like small purses. I've got this one. These two. I got some sh little trivial thing. And I'm thinking about this, but it kind of takes up a little space, so I'm not sure. Then we got some cash. I got 201s. Remember last time what I did with these is I fold them in sets of $2. Fold them all, put them next to each other, and like when I leave my room, I'll take a certain amount of them with me and just pull out the roll and I know I'm tipping $2 just to make it easier. And then I had like an extra little bit of cash for if I like wanna not use my card. Got a glue on my nail. I missed one from when I was partying. Always happens. So Hello. And this is a sneak peek at what I may wear for my birthday. Listen to how it sounds. I may wear that. I'm not sure because it's very 
Ellery as far as revealing and I kind of want to be comfortable with my birthday so I don't know I have a second option at the cleaners because when I leave here I have to go get my feet done go to the cleaners pick up my clothes I missed trash day yesterday so I have to go drop off some trash because I have a lot um I gotta go to the wax and I gotta go I kind of want to go get some more underwear from Target then I have to come home and just finish packing because this is like I have to leave early in the morning and I don't want to worry about packing in the morning so this has to be done tonight and I still have to glue on my wig tonight because I don't want to do that in the morning either it's gonna be a long day yo she's in her room she wants to go running around with her friend and her friend's mom why are you in bed still shouldn't you be like getting yourself together 5 30 I'll be back I also have this and I'm bringing for the first time Cause I thought I had a small ring light, but it's like small, small. So I'm gonna have to bring my like regular sized ring light, this one right here, because I am so lacking on content, especially on Instagram. We'll see how that turns out. But yeah, that's what my day is consisting of. I'll check back in with you guys later when I get some of it done. And we'll see if I've been able to maintain my stress. Cause I actually was supposed to edit my video today to go up this week because I'm skipping next week. So. It's kind of looking like that's not gonna happen, which is kind of making me antsy, but I'm still gonna try. Boy, oh boy, I am burnt out. I've been packing literally all day and running errands. I'm about to drop this one off at my sister's house. Still gotta do my hair. Still gotta put some last stuff, minute stuff in my bag. But I'm closer than I was. I haven't found any fabric glue to fix my shoe, so they might not be able to come, which I'm really sad about because I really need them. So I might try to hot glue them, but sounding like it's gonna be a fail we'll see though it's almost 10 o'clock i'm tired i want to get a full night's rest but um a full night is sounding a bit sketch you gonna miss me of course you are you're my home's girl i'm excited to go i will miss you i hope you're in your best behavior especially at tg's house do not argue with callie wait so i'm not gonna see you after tg's house no i'm dropping you off at tg's house because i have to catch an uber early in the morning you are not what is wrong with you, bro? You swear like you never see me. I with you all day. And then Monday, you didn't even come out your room. Sabrina was like, where's Zara? And I said, this is what she do when she ain't got school. She just stay in her room. But then when I get ready to leave, you want to cry. Come on now. Make it make sense. The math ain't mathing. Anyways, Stilo drops on Monday. Probably already dropped by the time this video drops because I'm late. Oh, you see my back. Your neck and your back. All right, you want to? You have anything you want to say to me? Love you. Anything else? Happy birthday. Oh my god, I totally forgot. It is my birthday. Not really. It is. Oh hush, it's been my birthday since two weeks ago. Anyways, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll see you in Mexico. Till next time. Love you.